Our speaker this morning, Jonathan Brotsman, is a versatile individual with a diverse background and a passion for understanding the world around him. He was originally an archaeologist in Hawaii. He has now uh, become an environmental protection specialist with the federal government. Uh, from a young age, Jonathan has cherished the value of diversity. Exploring and learning about different cultures has been a lifelong priority for him. During his time in Hawaii, he embraced the profound concept of living with aloha, which has significantly shaped his outlook on life. Introducing Jonathan. Mahalo nui loa, Lauren. I wanted to uh, ask you to join us this morning in our meditation reading. And uh, we'll do three minutes of silence. And uh, we'll follow that with candle lighting. But this morning, I'll have to tell you, I'm here kind of with a heavy heart. If any of you have seen the news, it's a pretty devastating situation for, for, uh, for Maui and for the Ohana back in Hawaii. And I wore my red dirt shirt today to signify the soil, the sacred soil of Maui. So considering the catastrophic fire that swept away so many and so much last week in Lahaina, you know, it may be last week to us in the news cycle, but in Hawaii, things like this last forever. As we light candles for our own joys and sorrows today, I encourage many of us standing together as ohana, or family, to light a candle for Lahaina I will be <clears throat> I will be lighting a candle for my former church in Ohana that burned. Mahalo for your kukua. now invite you into three minutes of meditation and silence. Mahalo everyone. Thank you. Mahalo for your kukua. I know this isn't as fun as last week with Django and uh, Rastafarian uh, message that we had. I had hoped as I'd planned this for a few months that it would be more fun, but it's a pretty somber time. So uh, thank you for sharing that with me and all of us back in Hawaii. I just wanted to give a moment to talk about the principles of aloha. But first I have to talk, and Django did too, uh, just a brief statement about cultural appropriation. We don't want to appropriate something that is not ours, that we have not been welcome to. But in Hawaii, people always want others to learn about aloha and the aloha spirit. In fact, the legislature of Hawaii actually made a law called the Aloha Spirit Law. In its Hawaii Revised Statutes 5-7.5, did you know that it was a law to be nice in Hawaii? <laughs> you think maybe we could have a law like that here on the mainland? I'll read from the law, the Hawaii Revised Statutes, Aloha Spirit Law says, is the coordination of mind and heart within each person. It brings each person to the self. Each person must think and emote good feelings to others. In the contemplation of the life force, Aloha, the following Anuhi Loa, may be used. If we could put the slide up. A wise elder, Kapuna, addressed the legislature and related to them the individual letters of Aloha and what they stand for. And you can see them up on the screen. The first word is Akahi meaning kindness to be expressed with tenderness. Lokahi, lokahi is one of my favorite words. Lokahi means unity, it is to be expressed with harmony. Olu alu means agreeable. 
to be expressed with pleasantness. Ha, ah, ha, ha, meaning humility, to be expressed with modesty. And finally, ahanui, meaning patience, to be expressed with perseverance. Although the Aloha spirit did not become law until 1986, its origins are deeply rooted in Native Hawaiian culture. Aloha is a concept that grew out of the necessity for Hawaiians to live in peace and work together in harmony with the land and their spiritual beliefs. And I believe today, more than ever, we need aloha. We need aloha all together. We need aloha. If we could put up the next, the next slide, you can see the eight principles of the Unitarian Universalism that we are all involved with. And it's amazing how closely aligned, I see some smiles, how closely aligned these are to the Allah spirit. The eight principles of Unitarian Universalism are everyone is important. Be kind in all you do. We are free to learn together. We search for what is true and fair. All people have a vote. We work for a peaceful world. We must care for our planet Earth, the home we share with all living things. We work together for diversity and act against racism and oppression. Today, more than ever, we need aloha. We need aloha. I'm also reminded of the passage in the Holy Bible the New International Version of 1 Corinthians 13 regarding love. We know Allah is a synonym for love. I thought this was appropriate. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels and do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith that can move a mountain, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have Allah, I gain nothing. Allah is patient. Allah is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It keeps no record of wrongs. Allah does not delight in evil, but rejoices, rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Allah never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will cease, and where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, But when completeness comes, what is in part disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child and reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put away the ways of childhood behind me. For now we see only a reflection in a mirror when we, see, when we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known, and know that these three remain, aloha, aloha, and aloha. But the greatest of these is aloha. We need aloha. We need aloha. The next song is a song for the ohana of Lahaina. Hanaho, Hanaho means good job. Mahalo nui la. Thank you. We will be giving the closing words and a benediction and extinguishing the chalice, but speaking about some of the concepts in that song in the nation of confusion. Without aloha, we have many of the things that were mentioned in that song. Without aloha, we have confusion, we have illusion, 
We have pollution, we have stress, we have greed. But with aloha, we have sanctuary, content of character, understanding, peace, and love. Altogether, we need aloha. We need aloha. I have a poem for you in Hawaiian. It's been many years since I've read this, but just bear with me. Ele ka ele ho, o ilo hi ke aloha. Love is worth, love is worn like a wreath through the summers and winters. Love, aloha, is everlasting. Thank you.